Right, today is the day. Finally ready to do a pressure test. So it might be a good day, it might be a bad day. We just need to plug everything off. So I'm just using some aluminium sealing washers, but I'm just going to apply Loctite 542. It's rather an excessive amount. and go around and fit all the plugs. Try and keep the period look of the 1850s. I'm going to use square headed bolts, so I've made a lot of square headed bolts which will eventually be used on the model, but for now they'll be used for testing. This is the steam header, so this is just a temporary cover for the moment. Uh, the, the actual steam header will have pipes that go into the uh, superheater to superheat the steam. So on the final model I'm just going to use hex bolts here because this will eventually be inside the smoke box so it won't be seen. This is the cover that will be used on the finished model. So this will eventually have two safety valves in it. But for testing I'm going to use this uh, piece. So we need the o-ring put in. This is a silicon o-ring. Okay, the time has arrived. So I'll put a low pressure in initially, maybe 10, 20 psi, just see if there's any leaks anywhere. If it looks okay, I'll take it up in stages, but between each stage I'll reduce the pressure to zero. And the idea is cycling it in that way will help uh, hard, work hard on the copper, so it'll increase its strength a little bit. 
if we get that far we'll see so here we go That's actually about 40 psi. Okay, we've got a leak on the uh, hollow steer, and I've just really realized that that's because I didn't apply um, a thread sealant to the actual internal thread. So I'll have to fix that. Right, here we go again. So that's forty five. Yeah, it looks like there's one leak, we've got a steer leaking. It's a bit of a sword. Take it a bit higher. That's 70. Okay, this nozzle here is leaking through the threads. So that's not too much of a problem. And try a bit higher. Hundred no, nineteen. Nothing inside leaking. Okay, let's do so that's about a hundred and thirty. Yeah, there it is, it's coming out the top, the top portion. And you can actually see there's not much silver solder on around the top. So it still looks like the only leak at the back is this fitting. <coughs> so it's dropped to 110. Nothing on the inside. <coughs> so it's down to 100. Okay, so we'll do 150. So the test pressure is 180, which is twice working pressure. So I just want to keep taking it up just to see if there's anything happens that might indicate any further problems. It's 150.
so I'm not sure if it's the uh, the bush on this here or whether it's the thread it might be the bush I've added some silver solder around the bush. It's not particularly neat, but hopefully that will cure that leak. I've done the same with the uh, steer. Again, it's not looking pretty, but hope for the best. And uh, I've also peeled it over a little bit, which might help. So I've got it all fitted back together. It just needs filling and give it another test so it's 160 psi and just slightly over there it's been about 15 minutes now Pressure has dropped 5 psi approximately, which is okay. You can expect a little bit of pressure drop as the materials and the hose relax a little bit. There's no evidence of any leaks whatsoever anywhere, which is absolutely brilliant. And finally, success. I think that deserves a celebration. Cheers. Beautiful. I think we deserve a little steam engine treat. And thanks for watching.